Hello everyone welcome to Creative Marketing Studio Tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn how to create this smoke effect in Photoshop so without wasting your time let's zombie straight into the Photoshop will you start by opening this image of candle if you want to follow along you can download this image from the link in the description so the first thing that we are going to do is create a new empty layer and then select the brush tool Make sure your program color is set to white. Flow under portion. Let's decrease the brow size. Now draw a basic line of how his smoke reacts. You can even draw a straight line, but I will keep it like that all right. Here comes an important step for a smoke effect. Go to the filter menu to blur gallery. And then path blur. And make sure this preview option is checked on. Well, a path is automatically set in the EMUS with two in points, and is this path that's going to determine the direction of the smoke. What you have got in between are the ability to move and add points, dead, and manipulate the way of this smoke move. I can even add multiple points. And here I'm trying to create something like that. Kind of going on, and the scorp said, but still. Our smoke effect is not looking realistic and effective, so all I need to do is just increase the speed. Set a value. That looks good to you. Here we go and I can also come to these points. And adjust them whenever I want. I think it looks nice. So we are just going to accept that for now. We're gonna press OK and that's just gonna take a second while it loads up that bath blur. And here we go. Let's take a move tool and adjust its position here. I'm pressing Ctrl D or Command T on Mag for a free transform tool. And I'm doing some scaling, flipping and rotating. All right, accept the transformation. So now I can also create another same smoke effect to make it more dense and organic. So create a new layer. Take a brush to draw a line, etc. So it's again exactly the same step that I did before. So I will fast forward this. There we go. That's how you create a simple smoke effect. The best part of this metal is. This smoke effect is totally transparent. There's no any blending mode applied. Now let's move on to our next example. When we are going to create little different and complex smoke effect, I'm going to open up our second image, which is this butterfly image. Before creating any smoke effect, I want to make this butterfly a little bit more cool and glowing. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut out this butterfly. So I'm just going to use paint tool. We are gonna start here on the wing and start making pattern on the subject. There we go. Now to convert the path into a selection. Just right click and choose make selection. And then click OK. Now press Ctrl Z or Command Z on Mac to duplicate the selection. Next I want to make this bag original model. So select the background layer. First I'm going to add a new adjustment layer called brightness and contrast. Let's decrease the brightness all the way down to minus 100% and increase the contrast. Now I'm going to add another adjustment layer on the top of our butterfly image. And that adjustment layer is hue saturism. Decrease the saturation to minus 100%. Now go ahead and select the butterfly image, which is layer one. And then I'm going to invert this butterfly image by going to image menu adjustment and then invert. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer one and go to the filter menu and in the stylized select find edges. And again, I'm going to invert this layer as well. All right, let's add some glowing effect around the edges. So I'm going to this Larry style option 
and select inner glue here. I'm going to increase the opacity to 35% and increase the size to around 80 pixel and then hit OK. Alright now let's add some color to our remix. Select the top adjustment layer and add another hue saturation adjustment and make sure this colorize option is take. Increase the saturation to around 95% and I'm going to change the hue until I get something blue and vibrant color. Alright we added a glowing effect and color to the butterfly. Now it's time to create a smoke effect. For now I'm going to hide these two adjustment layers and create a new black layer on the top of this butterfly image and I'm going to rename it and call it smoke. Now take a brush tool and you start drawing some and you start drawing some simple lines. Like this, this is going to be our baseline save for our smoke effect. All right now, let's go to the filter menu. Blood gallery and path blood. I'm making sure this preview option is on. I'm going to adjust the path and the direction according to the smoke flow. And of course, we are not limited to just the one path. I can put another path on here if I want to. And let's create another path here and keep creating part like that. Like we did in the previous example, we add points change and manipulate them. And of course, if you want to see the magic, let's increase the speed. Looks really nice. To make this smoke effect a little more realistic, what I'm going to do is select the smoke layer and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl G on Windows or Command G on Mac and next press Ctrl D or Command D to bring the creatures from Ctrl and scale it down. And then this layer, we are going to put a blur on it. So we are going to go to Filter Blur and Gaussian Blur. You want to give it just enough blur to actually blend it with the smoke effect. Alright, and here we go. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. And I hope you can use this method in your own creative project. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next tutorial.